guys, this is Hardy Kid Elite here today. Well, we're going to be reacting to CJ's video of the Shredder, my boy. So, you know, I, don't, I know I'm two weeks away, three weeks late on this. I did want to react to it, but this guy also did another one, too, like two days ago. I, I got to react to the first one. We got to react to it. I said I was going to react to it. And we got to react to this. This is a level. Alright. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Watch out for Shredder. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for another trial of the round table. And a new challenger is approaching. Mm -hmm. Or if I want to be specific, challengers are approaching. But these challengers are all known under one name. And who is this man exactly? Well, uh, let's just say this man has been beefing with Turtle since 1987. <laughs> I pulled back some takeout. So, like, let's get down and pig out. It's Shredder. Where? Ladies and gentlemen, the Shredder. Mm. So everybody sit back and relax because oh, yes. the amount of evidence and exhibits mm -hmm. I have on this man is about to make this the most massive and ambitious roundtable trial to date. So without further ado, it is time to commence the Shredder, Shredder. Trials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exhibit A. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, the Utram Shredder. Mm. New York City, a city where you could find damn near everything from your bacon, egg and cheeses, a random nigga getting sturdy on every single block, fat ass mutated rats, and of course, ninjas. I beg your pardon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the TMNT version of NYC, where the streets are ran by ninjas. And to be specific, the foot clan ran by none other than Oroku Saki, or also known as the Shredder. Now, this man Shredder basically ruled the streets of New York with a iron fist. He had every single rival gang and every single mob boss bend the knee. I mean, look at his first example. We got a run of the mill drug deal going on right now between the foot and some random ass mob so bro right here come up and say you got the stuff do you have the payment oh we got the money all right so bro throws the briefcase to him and big dog got the case and started counting the money on the spot and when he finished he was like do you play us for a fool this is only half of what we agreed upon <laughs> yeah because you're gonna get the other half after we take it off of your dead corpse bud you have signed your death warrant no, 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 no. Hey, look at the mob. These boys are terrified. So they start shooting, and they just start beating the shit out of them. They stood absolutely no chance. And these were level one foot grunts, by the way. The foot grunts that Shredder treats like absolute garbage. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at these workplace conditions, my nigga. This man treats these foot grunts as his personal punching bags. First <laughs> off, before they even start this beating session, they got to glaze the nigga. They all got on one knee and started saying in unison, Master Shredder, our glorious king, we are honored to get our ass beat by you. So the reverse <laughs> jumping session started. Foot nigga number one decides to pull a sword out, but look at this. Weave round out to the dome. And he just whooping they ass without even trying. Look at this. He bicycle kicked a whole grown man into another man. And look how he landed. A whole hog of ass in his face. And they just got absolutely bodied. And I honestly God, feel bad for these level one foot ninjas because they probably go through this every day. He probably just beat their ass for entertainment. This is just straight torture, bro. And my God, if you ever failed this man. <laughs> well, let's ask this guy right here. So this random guy right here failed to steal this armored truck for Shredder because the turtle stopped him. So bro is pleading for his life right now. He is saying, but please, Mr. Saki, you must understand. I was attacked by some buff ass turtles. But Shorter looked at bro and said, Shut your trap. You are fucking failure. Uh -oh. No. Please. So he leaps at this man, and you just see the door shut. And all you hear is this man screaming and getting his ass beat. And you never Dang. see or hear from this man ever again. So guess what? Ding, ding, ding. 
Ding! You guessed it! Murder on aisle four! This is dead! But there was one man who suffered the absolute worst of Shredder's wrath because of his constant failures. And that is none other than Baxter Stockman. Holy f what he did to this nigga Stockman. It is inhumane. First of all, you're probably wondering how Stockman even got in this situation. Well, yeah. he was a scientist working for Shredder. And one day, the turtles in April O'Neil blew up his lab. So while this man was trying to run away, he ended up running into Hunt, Shredder's big ass enforcer. So Hunt told Stockman, seems like you're in trouble, Mr. Stockman. And Stockman knew he was cooked, trying to yap and lie his ass off. But Hunt grabbed this nigga by the collar and walked him all the way back to Shredder. So they get back to base and this motherfucker Stockman was like, well, you see Master Shredder, this is just a minor setback. Cause with your funding, of course, <laughs> I'll be back at work tomorrow. But this nigga Shredder grabbed his claw, got up and told him, nigga, do you think you're off the hook? You must pay for your failure, Stockman. Oh, oh, oh. So Hun ah! drug him off to ah! God knows where. And the next time you see Stockman, he has a skull and a eye patch over his eye. Oh, damn. I got hurt. He gouged out his eye. He straight up mutilated this man. And look how he treats this man on a daily basis. Stockman like, oh, Master Short with my Ivy League genius brains, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. Shut your black ass up, Stockman. Oh, dang. And guess what happened after this? He failed him again. So they took him back to the torture chamber and Hun mutilated him again. Dang. And the next time you see Stockman, bro, cut off his arm and paralyzed him. He turned this nigga to Charles Xavier. So I'm Dang, pretty sure you know how this works up. now. Every time this man fails, Shredder takes one of his body parts. And this isn't even the last time, but we'll save that for later. And trust me, it gets worse. So, his first confrontation with the Turtles was a absolute beatdown. And before this even mm -hmm. happened, Shredder tried to sweet talk this nigga Leonardo. He went up and told bro, Uh, hello, nigga Turtle son. We don't have to be enemies, my boy. So take this sword as my gift. So this man Leo went back to Master Splinter. And when he told him this, Master Splinter was like, Oh, hell no, my son. Don't you dare trust that motherfucker. And this man Splinter was right because PTSD came and hit him like a train. Because years ago when splinter was the pet rat of hamato yoshi the foot clan busted up in their house and jumped this man so then shredder came in and they started to torture him while splinter was watching then okay. after he was done he killed the nigga right in front of his face so now they knew who they was dealing with. So later on that mm -hmm. night, while they're on a rooftop, they end up getting ambushed by the foot. And here comes this motherfucker Shredder. And this man came in pissed off. He was like, I gave you that expensive sword and you still decide to fight against me. Did you know how much that cost me? Like what, uh, $50, bro? <laughs> Try 50,000, nigga. Oh. So Shredder sends his foot ninjas to attack him. And while this man Mikey is just twirling around his nunchucks, Shredder comes from the top. And drop kicks him across the building. <laughs> then he looks over at Leonardo. Bro said, come get some of this shit too. Then over here, look at Donatello just spinning his staff like an idiot. Nigga think he Wukong. And Shredder <laughs> comes behind him and just throws him. And look at oh. Donnie's stupid ass. You know he can't break throws. Then this man threw a sword to light the entire building on fire and just starts staring down Leo and Raph. So they all jump up and Shredder just knocks them out both in the air. This nigga is cooking them. And then look at this. Raphael gets up just to get kicked off of the building into a dumpster. <laughs> then he can't get off a building. <laughs> on a taxi and them boys had to retreat because shredded and destroyed the whole damn building and look at this motherfucker walk out the fire yeah, and say yeah i heard about this turtles come out to play <laughs> i ain't gonna lie i'd be shitting bricks if i was in their shoes so then he called over his foot ninja he said foot ninjas glaze me yes master shredder <laughs> If you want a pay raise, find those turtles. So Shredder had a bunch of foot ninjas just on a wild goose chase, hunting these boys throughout the oh, entire shit. night until the turtles just decided, f it. We can't outrun the nigga, so we might as well just fight him. So later on, they decide to have a standoff on the top of this roof. So here come this man Shredder, and he immediately said, Foot ninjas, jump the turtles. So they got a whole brawl going on right now. And I'm not going to lie to you, this version of Shredder does not believe in fair ones at all. Every chance he gets, he's going to jump you. 
you. Look at this nigga Mikey just fighting for his life right now. Bro was on a fucked up ankle just for Shredder to come out of nowhere oh, yeah, and see him fly. I mean, yeah. look at this nigga. Donatello is clearly getting jumped just for Shredder to walk up to bro and tell him, hey there, little green nigga. Catch this four-piece combo, nigga. Oh, dang. This nigga Donatello flying while he was off guard. This nigga don't believe in fair ones. Look at Leonardo. This man is backpedaling just for Shredder to come behind him and try to sneak him. Bro got lucky. Raphael bailed him out, but they just ended up trading places. The Shredder picked this man Raphael up and threw him across the oh, building. Dang. Look at poor Mikey. Y'all already know what's about to happen. Yeah, he's like a jump. This nigga again. Send him flying to the wall. <laughs> and of course, this man Leo's the last man standing. Just for him to run right into Shredder. And bro just looked at him and said, Night, night, nigga turtle. <laughs> So this man Shredder had him beat. The turtles are already down 2-0 against this nigga. So right when he's about to deliver the killing blow, which is clear attempted murder, by the way, <laughs> Master Splinter comes down and bails out his sons. And this man Shredder was pissed. He told Master Splinter, Looks like New York's ever-going rat pandemic has still been unsolved. But Master Splinter was not about to take that disrespect. He led Shredder over to this water tower and gave him the bait of the century. He just started making bro miss so he would destroy the supports of the water tower. So when the tower started shaking, and Master Splinter told him, This is for my Master Yoshi! So, bro kicked the water tower on him. So, Dog got washed off the building, and the water tower fell on him. <laughs> oh, so, Master Splinter then bailed these boys out. Because they think Shredder is dead. And no, I mean, he's not. Shit, anybody would. Nobody is surviving that shit. But we would soon understand that this man is fucking un. Killable. And I mean this literally. Bro dodges death like ice spice shaking ass. It just comes <laughs> natural to him. So about a good week later, Leonardo decided to go on a morning training run. And everything just seemed all fine. Master Splinter was like, oh, take care of yourself, my son. And make sure to get that 40 yard dash faster. You looked slow the other day. So Leo goes out on his morning training run. So about one hour later, it started to get a little worried. Donatello smart ass was thinking in his head, Man, what the sick it's 8 o'clock sharp, and Leo left at 7 a.m. Usually, it takes him about 30 minutes to run. Hey, guys, the fuck's going on? I don't know, bruh, but something is totally off. And their suspicions were right, because literally five seconds later, Leonardo comes flying through the window. Oh, this nigga hey, hey. Is beat the fuck up. And wow. Leonardo's last words before he lost conscious was, oh, he, he's back. <laughs> Yes, this man Shredder came back with a vengeance because Dang. while Leonardo was on his training run. Yo, this guy's freaking a savage. Yo, I don't, I don't remember being Shredder being this crazy, but goddamn. Shredder sent his elite guard to jump this nigga. And when they was done, they took Leonardo's swords, gave it to oh. Shredder, and bro, bended his sword Yo. in half like a skin. No and way. even a minute later, Foot Ninja started busting into April O'Neil's apartment. They said, we could have an invasion today. So the turtles had to retreat to get to the store downstairs. Yo, no way. No. Okay, he has Black Force activities right there. No wonder why they call this guy the best Shredder. Of any uh, teammate Ninja Turtles ever. Before they got overran. So later on when they got to the store, Shredder comes and kicks down the door. And bro walked in saying, One, two, three, four. How many Nigga Turtles are in my store? I know you're stealing. Well, um, actually, you're the one busting into April's store right now. So, uh, technically, you're the one stealing, bro. You know what, Mikey? You actually got a point right now. Silence, you little green shits. Quit all that yapping and come get these hands. So they dive in on him, and Raphael comes in first. But look at this. Bro hits the Cover. duck of the century <laughs> and punishes the hell out of him. Mikey comes in and gets cooked as usual. And here comes Donatello. He whiffs. And look at the sidestep. Bitch. This man into a stripper pole. But nah, I ain't gonna lie. We gotta ask this question. Hey, but why the hell you got a stripper pole in your store? You damn freak. Shorty probably got a secret OF. So here comes Master Splinter. And obviously... Shredder wants his run back, so they start fighting again, but I ain't gonna lie, Shredder started getting cooked by this rat again, because Master Splinter just had too much sauce. <laughs> yeah. So bro ended up kicking a bookcase off, and they decided to retreat in the cellar, so while the foot was trying to open up the door, the cops ended up pulling up, so Shredder told his foot to disappear, but before he left, 
he decided to do some crazy shit. Oh, yeah, Bro that flame thing. up to the cooler and locked them in. Oh, and he pulled out a grenade Molotov, set the place on fire, oh, yeah. and started leaking gas. And Bro started to walk away and said, This is what y'all get for camping like some pussies. <laughs> Say your prayers. Yeah, I seen this part. Toes. So the gas started to leak, and Bro blew up the whole block. This is just ridiculous, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, this man had to have caught some bodies here. I mean, you literally see these policemen get blown away. 99.9% .9 of the time, a regular gun is not surviving that. So let's be real, they're dead. Now the turtles did get out of there because of a vent, but look at April, she is devastated. She done lost her whole business and her whole apartment. And the whole crew basically had to leave New York. So mm -hmm. Shredder effectively ran these niggas out of New York and put Leo in a coma. Bro was you know for what? like a week. It's kind of similar to that movie though. You know that old teenage Ninja turtle movie? <laughs> yeah, you know, like the live action one, like from the 90s. Yeah, it's kind of similar to this. So the turtles were covered as time passed, and they decided to assault this man's lair. So while they broke into Shredder's lair, they ended up finding some pretty dark things that Shredder has done, and that would be human experimentation. Because they found this lab, and it consisted of a bunch of mutated Shredders, and also, they was kidnapping motherfuckers. They found this video of these foot mad scientists that was experimenting on people that they kidnapped, and was mutating them into monsters. So yeah, this man is a sick nigga, bro. But anyways, they get to the top floor to confront Shredder. But before they get the chance to fight, this motherfucker Baxter Stockman pulls up in a whole mess. What the heck? Shredder was like, Stockman, what the fuck are you doing? Well, Master Shredder, this is my Emancipation Proclamation, cause I'm done being your motherfucking slave, nigga. So this man grabbed Shredder, started throwing him around, and Dog walking him. Stockman was finally getting his get back from all the mutilation and the torture he's received. Mm -hmm. But his reparations would not last long. Shredder jumped up and just sent Bro to the shadow room. So after that altercation, Shredder was like, Now then, let's get down to business. Shredder starts whooping day. <laughs> so here comes Master Splinter trying to bail out his sons again. But this time, it uh -oh. wasn't gonna work. Shredder jumps up oh, yeah. and roundhouses this nigga through the glass and off of the damn building. Shit, bro got lucky this was Leonardo saving his life and not Spider-Man. Because we all know what happened last time Pete was in this situation. <laughs> Blew that back out. But while yeah. Leo was saving Master Splinter, everybody else was just getting their ass kicked. It looked like Shredder at this point was just having fun. Then later on into the fight, he ends up pulling out this sword called the Sword of Tengu, which is a mystical sword that he had made a long time ago. We will learn about this soon. But he ends up blasting the turtles and knocking them all out. So they was fighting for dear life at this point because Shredder's using this busted ass sword. But they ended up knocking it out of his hand so Leo could grab it. And Leonardo and Shredder stood off for one final strike and well the plot kicked in hard and leonardo ended up decapitating the shredder oh, dang. so now the battle is over and the turtles have defeated the shredder or so they thought because this man got up grabbed his head oh, and walked off into the fire and again how the hell did he do this well this is where shit gets crazy the, the Shredder, Shredder Trial. He's built different. Exhibit A wrap up. Multiple counts of murder, mutilation, torture, kidnapping, home invasion, trafficking, racketeering, property damage, multiple counts of attempted murder, assault on multiple counts. Exhibit B. All day. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, Shirelle. Now, <laughs> let's get the elephant out the room. This nigga is not a Rokusaki. This motherfucker is mm. an alien. Oh, what? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Shirelle, the universal genocidal maniac. This is the worst criminal in the universe, and he is also the Utram Shredder. Now, it's time to go back to the 11th century. Now, this alien race called the Utrams are a very peaceful race, but there was one 
outlier, and that was Sherelle. Now, currently, they have him in custody, and they're taking him back to the planet to be tried for his crimes against the universe. But Sherelle was not going to let that happen. So, later on, Sherelle ended up escaping and overriding the ship's engines, making the ship crash on the nearest planet. And that planet was Earth. Now, the Utrons were very technologically advanced, but since Earth was basically so far behind back then, they couldn't repair their ship, so they were stranded. So they decided we might as well just blend in and live with these people. So with the technology they had, they made exosuits so they could blend in with humans. So one day, when this Utron was taking an exosuit on a test drive, he ends up falling into a trap and he gets six flying by a log. And this trap was set up by none other than Sherelle. And he looked at the poor little nigga in there and said, <laughs> What a wonderful toy. Little nigga. So he carjacks this little nigga. Then he decides to just pick him up and just throw him. Who knows where that little nigga just landed? But after this is where everything makes sense. We see these Utroms working. And they end up getting attacked by foot ninjas. And they are being led by none other than the Shredder, a.k.a. Shirelle. This version of Shredder that we have been talking about is a 1,000-year-old alien that established the Foot Clan back all the way in the feudal era of Japan. And look at this man. He is beating the dog shit out of these Ultrams. Hey. Look at Buddy right here. He just like, oh, what, what is the meaning of this? What, what have we done to you? What have you done to me? Oh, simply breathing the same air as me. Look at him. He is boxing this nigga up. This motherfucker been jumping nigga since the 11th century. Now, y'all remember that sword? The sword of Tengu? This is when it was made. So he had blacksmiths build him a sword that was salvaged from the Utram technology. So the blacksmith presented him with the sword, and the blacksmith told him, Oh, uh, yes. Now, are you ready to discuss payments, Lord Shredder? Payment? <laughs> oh, I will gladly give you payment. Oh, so dang. he aimed the sword at them and blew them. <laughs> Oh, they definitely did. Why? They gladly built that sword for you, and you just blew them to bits. <laughs> okay, nigga. Triple homicide on all three. <laughs> so after this, throughout the century, Shredder just expanded the foot to what we know it is as today, and has been beefing and has been trying to kill all the Utroms ever since, and anybody allied with them. Because y'all remember Master Yoshi, Splinter's master? Yeah, he has been allied with the Utroms and has been beefing with Shredder for years. He even corrupted his best friend to defect and fight to the death while he watched like this man is 100 percent pure evil not a single redeeming quality so now let's go back to the present now after this man dodged death again i mean this man had a fight with the utrons and the turtles and survived a building that imploded on him Still to this day, I don't know how bro survived this. He decided to take out his anger on none other than Baxter Stockman. Again? Now, as we saw earlier, Stockman tried to kill Shredder, but failed miserably. So Shredder decided it was time for some more punishment. And I mean severe punishment. <laughs> Because the next time you see Baxter Stockman, this man has been reduced to a brain and an eyeball what? in a tube! That is messed no, up! Stop. He's already dead! This, in honest to God, is a fate worse than death. This man has lost his body, and the only thing he has left is his nervous system in a jar. And what was the most fucked up thing, Shredder looked at him and told him, Baxter Stockman, it seems that you have overdosed on Ozempic. And then look at this. They start shocking this man in the tube. This is actually horrible. The fact that this was showed on four kids is insane. Because we yeah. slowly watch this dude get mutilated and reduced Dang. all the way to a brain Bro. in a jar. That Crazy is sad. work, bro. So fast forward. That has to be the saddest thing I've seen. But I mean, uh, Teenage Mitch and Turtles. Wow. Shredder, you are dark. You are a menace of society. This guy's a freaking menace. A couple days later, and the turtles confront Shredder on this ship. So obviously, Shredder starts talking shit immediately. Uh, 
nigga turtles. Fancy that you are here because now you can be test subjects to my new football. Roger, roger. So this robot walks up and blows this <laughs> crap <on y'all> up. <laughs> so a whole brawl ends up breaking out. And of course, Shredder and Splinter face off again. And poor old Master Splinter got his ass whooped. Like Shredder was teeing off on this nigga. Like you could see the pain in Master Splinter shaking his head like, oh, oh lordy, lordy, lord, I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> Big ass explosion goes off and Splinter oh. ends up getting knocked down and Unk is not getting up. Somebody need to call life alert for this old nigga now because Shredder's about to kill this man. But this Triceraton rams Shredder away. So he ends up boxing with Dino nigga and this big ass motherfucker picked him up and threw him across the ship and hammer fisted him into this fire pit. So Big Dog thought he won. He was like, victory for the Republic! But nope. the turtles was like, yo, turn around, bro! Because this motherfucker Shredder got up and stabbed him in the booty. Oh, dang. Why? It looks like he stabbed him in the ass. So while Shredder's walking over to kill the turtles, Dino nigga gets up, bear hug Shredder, takes him over to the fire pit, and falls in it with him. Okay. So you gotta think, no way Shredder survives this. The ship literally blows up and bro got dragged down to the bottom of the ocean by Dino nigga. <laughs> well, uh, he lives to see another day. Yeah. I will say this once and I will say it again. This man is unkillable. Oh, and by the way, Dino nigga's dead. That man did not come out that water. So his sacrifice is in vain. So we got another murder on our one. So Dang. after this, Shredder decided to do another nefarious act. So the city of Beijing became a floating city after the Triceratons tried to invade Earth. So Shredder wanted the thing that was making the city float. So you know what bro decided to do? Steal the thing and try to drop the city on the Earth. Like dog, this nigga is an actual maniac. And guess what? When Hun and Baxter Stockman failed to get the job done, he made these boys slaves. Dang. I'm not kidding. He got these niggas working in a steel mill in chains. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga Baxter Stockman needs reparations immediately. Because his brother done lost his body, and now he a damn slave. And look at Shredder come in. Stockman was like, oh, oh Lord, Master Shredder, I, I, I'm working diligently. Nigga, did I say that you could speak? Lord bless his brother. So more time would pass and Shredder would start gaining more influence in the city. I mean, he had the mayor on his payroll and he started to build a ship because he wanted to go to the home planet of the Ultrons and conquer their planet. But the turtles was not having that shit because if they don't stop him now, he's gonna take over the galaxy. So they pull up on Shredder and they don't sugarcoat it. They start jumping the hell out yeah. of this man. Like this shit was crazy. They had bro stumbling and shit. Bro fell to the ground and he was like, in all my centuries i've never had my ass beat like this so y'all know shredder was not about to go out like no bitch bro pops up and starts beating the hell out of everybody planted these niggas on a wall and splinter came from the top rope but bro caught the sword and kicked him across the room so shredder ends up fleeing all the way to his ship and he takes off into space so it was time for the final confrontation. So Shredder pulls up in his final boss armor that's got four fucking arms on some General Grievous shit. So Shredder, with the help of his delusional daughter, Karai, start whipping their ass. Like he's just throwing these niggas. And then look at this. They tried to run up and electrocute bro, but bro grabs the wires from him and he electrocutes Master Splinter. Dang. Okay, he's done for it. Then bro stepped behind Leonardo him all the way to Karai, and she stabs him. Leonardo was cooked. Then it was Raphael's turn. Bro grabs him and hits him with the GPS. This nigga oh, think he's CM Punk. And here come Mikey, getting his legs oh, taken out and stomped on. And of course, here comes Donatello coming to get washed like usual. This brother's smart as hell, but goddamn, he the one that get his ass beat the most. And Shredder has defeated the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He won the final battle. So while he was about to kill Leonardo, Karai comes in and stops him. And this man was pissed. He was like, daughter, what the fuck are you doing? Father, this is dishonorable. Have you no honor, my nigga? Honor. Bitch, fuck all that shit. <laughs> Bro just a bitch slapped his own daughter and is about to kill her. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga's terrible. But right before this was about to happen, the Ultrams pulled up. Stopped time and warped everybody off the ship. 
because they was coming back to Earth to arrest this nigga. So we end up going to the Utram homeworld, and they are about to put this man on trial for all the atrocities he has committed. And my God, when you hear some of this shit, it is absurd. So the first thing that they bring up, that on this one planet, their ruler Dolph Ed testified that he willingly launched an attack on this planet called Gold, and over one million innocent people were killed. What the freak? Oh, but we're not done. Next up this alien Juan Ron also proved that he incited a civil war on this planet called Eno 2 in an effort to mine their raw minerals without restriction now guess how many people died during this a whopping 3.2 million Oh, shit. body count is in the millions. And I saw one comment before I made this video. Some said, he's making a video on Shredder. What does bro do? Doesn't he just fight turtles? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> and then they got him on conspiracy to overthrow the government. So all the Utroms in the Galactic Council came together and said, Sherelle, we the Galactic Council find you guilty and you will be banished to eternal exile. Nani? So they exiled this man to a freezing planet. And that was the end of the Utram Shredder. Until he decided to try to destroy the multiverse, of course. Ah, come on. <laughs> the Shredder <laughs> Trials. Uh, so this guy done. wrap up. Multiple assaults, mm -hmm. bribery, mm -hmm. conspiracy, yep. mutilation, mm -hmm. attempted mass murder, multiple counts of murder, slavery, multiple counts of genocide. genocide. Exhibit C. Oh, we're still not done. Yeah, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it is now time for our final exhibit. All and right. That, of course, is multiversal destruction. So after Shredder got exiled on the frozen planet, he ended up getting saved by none other than the 1987 uh -oh. Shredder. Now, the reason why he did this is because, well, the 87 Shredder is kind of a goofball. Is this nigga serious? And he was tired of getting his ass beat every episode. So he <laughs> wanted to see what he could learn from his other counterparts. So, of course, he chose the evilest one out of all of them, the Utram Shredder. Now, Utram Shredder obviously betrayed 87 Shredder because this nigga's an idiot. And he decided, I'm going to destroy every single Ninja Turtle that ever existed. Dang. So he took over 87 Shredder's Technodrome and started to wreak havoc across the city. Shit, the whole military pulled up. They called the Army, Air Force, Marines, and they couldn't do nothing. They ended up becoming cannon fodder. This nigga was killing multiple people, and this maniac is just laughing while he's committing mass murder and destroying the city. <laughs> this motherfucker is crazy. It got to the point 87 Shredder and Krang started to question this. They walked up to him and said, ah, what the devil are you doing? Let's just destroy the turtles and be done with it. Yeah, destroy them already, man. Fools, you bum ass niggas dare question me? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he's gotten to the point where he's abusing his own counterpart. Nasty work. So later on, this man ended up capturing the 2003 Turtles and the 1987 ones so he could use their DNA to find the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So he found Turtle Prime, which was the world of the first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 1984. And he starts to destroy their world. This nigga's destroying the first comic. He's a fucking maniac. So it was time for the final, final battle. So so to save the multiverse, the 2003, 87, and 84 Turtles, along with 87 Shredder, Krang, Karai, and Master Splinter was about to jump this man. Because if he destroys this universe, everybody gets erased from existence. So this motherfucker turned into a giant and he said, oh, this is my lucky day. I count 12 Turtles, a rat, my bitch main counterpart, a pink blob, and my Thought, daughter, all of you can suck my giant <laughs> So this man just starts to destroy everything. This stupid ass nigga Crane turned giant just to get his ass whooped. 
then this man turned his hand into a Gatling gun <laughs> oh, and started dang. spraying and praying. And this just ended up becoming a whole episode of AOT. Because this man done became a damn titan and he trying to stomp on niggas now. So then he snatched the 84 turtles and started squeezing them to death. And this took everybody up. Because since they're dying, everybody's dying. Even Shredder himself. So Karai pled to him. She tried to talk no juice to him. She said, Father, please. Are you willing to destroy yourself for some damn turtles? And he stopped for a second. But then he thought to himself and decided, You little green shits are the bane of my existence. So if I die too, so be it. So this man is about to destroy everything, even himself. This nigga is crazy. Yeah. He is willing to destroy himself just so they don't exist. This might be the craziest hate boner of all time. Dio, you got competition, buddy. So right <laughs> before the multiverse is about to be erased, this man ends up getting hit by ninja stars. In 87, Donatello actually came in clutch. It's a miracle. And Shredder ended up getting hit by his own techno drone laser, evaporating him and finally putting an end to the Utrom Shredder. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, with all of these charges, there should be no debate he passed his trial. Heck yes. We're tabling this nigga now. This little bastard is the definition of a menace to society. Mm -hmm. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, one trial down and two more to go. So now I know the question's coming. CJ, when's the second trial dropping? Well, I got good news for you. I'm already damn near done with it. So until we return, the jury is adjourned and the trial of the Utrom Shredder comes to a close. Subscribe. This is the goop. All right, is that the end? Oh, wait, hold on. Show. Hold on. That it. Was that it? Oh shit, it was. Shredder, come. It was over. All right. All right, guys. This is the end of the video. I know. Well, we're definitely going to do the second one. We're definitely going to do that. All right, I'm going to end this video. I want to I'll see you guys again until the next video. We're going to probably this might might come out tomorrow maybe. Maybe around like at the afternoon. And I, uh, yeah. All right, I'll see you guys again until the next video. Ooh.